Here we go. This is question number twelve, and the difference between question number twelve and、uh, the waffle question is just that we have a percentage here. And the reason I brought up、um, the waffle questions earlier, the waffle questions earlier, is because that they are actually very similar. And waffle is something that's more concrete because that's something that you can、um, imagine or you can actually eat, right? But compared to this question. We have percentages and the situation is just something that we don't usually deal with, right? This situation is just something that we don't normally deal with, so it's a much harder diff.、Uh, it's a much difficult question, but the idea is the same as the waffle question. Okay, here we go. So just read the question, but I will、uh, pick up the most important uh, uh, information throughout my explain explanation right here. So we have a graduating class, right? So let me write this as my entire、um, graduating class. So again, I will draw a picture. Whenever we're dealing with percentage, we can always draw a picture and then just cut into、um, some pieces, and we can say this is about some percent, some percent. Okay, and then he says that seventy-five percent of the graduating class. Had taken at least eight math courses, so this divides us into seventy five percent. Let's say this is the seventy five percent, right? And what do, what do they do? Have this?、Uh, what do they have right here? Seventy five percent. These people. Let me do like this. So, seventy five percent of the students right here. So this is my seventy five percent. Um, they took at least eight math courses. They took at least eight math courses, eight math courses. And then right here, right again, this will be the remaining, the remaining um portion. So this is the remaining portion. So let me just remaining portion. If this is seventy five percent, the whole thing add up to one hundred percent. So you must have twenty five percent right here, right? So the remaining is only twenty five percent. So let me make a note. This is one hundred percent minus seventy five percent, which is twenty five percent. Okay. So the remaining students, of course, this is、um, at least. Should I put the word at least? A math classes. So this percentage of students. They took、uh, less than eight math classes, right? This twenty-five percent of the students they took、uh, less than eight math classes. Okay, so of the remaining right here, and as we can see that it says of the remaining class members, sixty percent. So sixty percent of these of these people of these students, they had taken either six or seven math classes. So I'm going to divide this into sixty percent. Okay, so let me draw the sixty percent. Let's say it's about right here. So notice this is sixty percent of this part of this quarter pieces, right? So again, I'm going to divide into two pieces, two parts technically. So these people, sixty percent, these people right here, he says. They take at least they take um six or seven math courses, so these people um let me write it down, six or seven math courses, and what percentage of these people is um compared to the, what percentage of, um, what percentage of the students actually took just six or seven math courses, it's not sixty percent, right? This is actually sixty percent of. The twenty five percent, right? Because it's only saying sixty percent of the twenty five percent of the remaining students. Of the twenty five percent. So this percentage of the students they took either six or seven math classes. However, this is not what we are trying to find. Let's read the question one more time. Let's read the question one more time. He asks us what percentage. What percent of the graduating class they had taken fewer than six math courses? So I got six or seven. I got more than eight, and actually this part it's less than six. Right, this part's less than six. And 
you can forget about everything for a minute. If this is 60%, if this is 60%, how big would be that? Again, this part will add up to 100% on its own, right? So this is 60% already, that has to be 40%. This little piece right here has to be 40%. So this right here is because 100% minus the 60%. So this part right here, this is the 40% students of this, right? So less than six math courses. It's 40%, but it's not 40% of the entire. It's only 40% of the remaining, which was the 25%, right? This 45%, this 40%, only represent the forty percent of the twenty five percent. So, the percentage of the students who took less than six math courses is forty percent of uh, the twenty five percent. So this is what we're trying to focus on, right? This is the question. Okay, so now let's do the calculation. But the concept right here, as I said, it's a little bit hard to um absorb, but. If you look at my Ravel example, that question is much easier, right? The reason is because Ravel is edible. <laughs> Anyways, so let's do the calculation. So let me turn 40% into a decimal. Um, so 40% is a, 40 is a whole number. So originally you have a point, the decimal point is right here. Change percentage to decimal. I need to move the decimal point once, twice to the left. So that's my new decimal point, right? So I have 0 0.40, and let me add a zero in front of the decimal point. I like to have the 0 0.40. The word of translates to multiply. multiply. I'm going to multiply, likewise, 25% is just 0 0.25. As you can see, you can just um, 25 with a point, move the decimal point once, twice, to the left. Okay, so for this, we're just going to multiply this out and that will pretty much be our answer, right? Um, to multiply this out, let me write it as 0 0.25 times um, 0 0.4. Notice the 0 after the 4 doesn't matter, so I can just write the 0 0.4 right here. And then I put 0 0.25 on the top, it's because it has more digits. It's somewhat easier. Okay, okay. just do the work, I have 4 times 5, which is 20, write down the 0, carry off the 2. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, so it's 10. Okay, so right here I have uh, 2 decimal place, 2 decimal places for the first number, and then for the second number I have 1 decimal place. So the total... 2 plus 1, I need 3. I need 3 decimal places for my answer. So I need uh, 3 decimal places. There's uh, more places. And right here, I have 1, 0, 0. We start off um, all the way to the right. And then I'm going to move this decimal point once, twice, three times. And that will be where the new decimal, where the new, uh, where the decimal point is. So let me have a zero in front of that. 0 0.40 or 0 0.4 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.100. And if you take a look of the answer choices, we want um, percent. This is decimal, so we need to change this decimal back into a percentage. What we can do is take this decimal point, move it once, Move it twice to the right, and I'm going to put my new decimal point right there. And then this is going to give me 10, right? This is just one zero, which is just 10. Point zero, but it doesn't really matter after the decimal point. So this is just saying 10, and now we can add a percentage because we move the decimal point twice, once, twice to the right. We put a percentage right there. And there we have it.
That's question number twelve. Choices. Answer choices B. Correct answer is B.